to show you for my video today how I'm going to alter my monthly traveler's notebook covers or one way that you can alter the monthly traveler's notebook covers that are in the um, Scrapping Wonders Etsy shop. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, clip. It's a clip from American Crafts that goes with the Creekside collection. And uh, I'm just going to open the uh, open the traveler's notebook right in the middle. These notebooks are stitched notebooks, which means that they can take a beating without the papers coming out. So I'm going to start with my embossed pen. This is a product from Ranger. It comes in a two pack, one black, one clear. So I initially was going to go with the black one, but um, I realized fairly quickly that even the the ink on the cover is going to react even with the um, black embossed pen. So I'm going to switch it up and grab my clear one, which I'm now searching for to find. And there it is. Um, so what this pen is, is it's a, it's called emboss it. It's an emboss it pen from Ranger. You can find them fairly easily. They, they're not a new product. They've been around for a really long time, but what it is, is it's a pen that has embossing ink in it. And what it's allowing me to do is it's allowing me to emboss my cover. So I drew around the entire, well, I think I drew around half the snowflake. And now I'm going to add some clear embossing powder and heat set it. And that way my, I'm going to have, I am number one protecting the cover because I want a watercolor over this and I don't want my ink to smear. I want to keep that gorgeous um, design that's on the front. Uh, and then it also gives the, the design this like shiny, clear image. It kind of makes the black stand out a little bit, makes the black a little bit blacker. So even the embossed pen though, you still have to be careful because it did want to kind of smear the ink just with the embossing ink. Um, but I was very careful and I had really great success with this. Uh, so if you're wanting to get some of these monthly inserts and you want to be able to alter them, I would highly recommend grabbing yourself a Ranger Embossit pen. Um, they come in a two pack, one is clear and one is black. And like I said, I did initially start with the black one, but I wasn't, I wasn't liking how it was looking. I was afraid it would be too black and it would kind of smoosh through. Although looking now, I can see where I used the black pen, and it looks okay once you like, you know, put the embossing powder on it and heat set it. Uh, but oh well, live and learn next time. So I'm just going to continue to do this. Draw a little bit of the snowflake over with the clear embossing ink, and then emboss it with the clear powder. So this is clear powder from Simon Says Stamps, and that little container that I got is also that the clear embossing powder is in is also from Simon Says Stamps. And I did the snowflake in January, and I'm going to grab, um, I think I had like a smudge or something on the cover. This was a really easy, easy thing to do. I mean, even just um, in real time, it only took me about 25 minutes. So this layout is going to, this particular video is going to be rather short because it really wasn't a big, um, you know, a big endeavor to do this. So... I just wanted to make sure I had missed the middle of the A there with the embossing pen. So I'm just making sure that I have all the little bits and pieces fully covered on my embossing. And now I'm just going to go ahead and watercolor my insert. So I decide that I really want to do an ombre effect. So I'm going to start with this white pearlescent watercolor. This is my Kiritake watercolors. They're my absolute favorite. Um, and I love this white shimmery one. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of translucent white. It looks just like snow. I really was like, this looks just like snow. I love it. So I just went and got myself some water, some clean water. And now I'm just going to have fun painting. So I'm going to start with the white, and I'm going to go down so far with the white. And then I have my little swatch. The lid of the, the watercolors has like a little swatch on the back. So I have that swatch kind of off to the left. And I'm just following along with the colors and getting it to kind of go from like the white to a lighter blue to the next lighter blue. And I'm just, you can see here, I'm not being careful. I'm not being precise. I'm not, you know, doing anything special. I'm just taking a water brush, brush not too much water because I don't want the water to soak through the insert and get on the pages underneath. So just a bit of water and just a bit of blending. 
and really easy. And then in between coats, I was running my paper towels over it because the paper towel was giving it this like really awesome cool texture, number one, and number two, it would take up some of that water so that it would keep um, the water from going into the pages underneath. So I just continue that going from the white all the way down to the dark. You can see here the bottom. Um, I loved this navy blue, but it, it didn't blend out real well. So I ended up with it being a little bit darker on the bottom than I initially had planned. But that's kind of like the beauty of watercolors. That's just, that's what it does. So after a while, I just pulled some paper towel off and was just doing it. So because the cover is damp, I will say this, you do definitely need to kind of clip it closed. And then I put my cover under a heavy book overnight. So I took two of those little clips and I'm gonna clip it closed. And then I also went ahead and I put a, um, I also went ahead and put a book over it for the evening, for the overnight. And then when I woke up the next morning, it had it wasn't warped at all and it was completely dry. So the next thing that I'm gonna do to this insert is I wanna put a couple of flare on the cover. So I don't tend to like to use flare inside of my book, but I think on the outside of the book, it's a really pretty option um, because it's not gonna you know, make your book extra chunky. So I'm just using some Zots here. I was kind of worried about putting a glue um, on top of the watercolored paper. I wasn't sure. I didn't think my tape runner would hold. I really wasn't wanting to put more wet on the paper. So I thought that my little Zots would be the perfect way to kind of get them stuck down there really well. And that's pretty much going to complete the outside of this insert. So now I'm all ready to start telling um, my stories in January and start using this to document with. And like I said, it just needed overnight under a book and it was good. I hope you've enjoyed this little process and I hope you'll take a peek at these monthly inserts in Best Shop because they really are um, beautiful and able to be personalized easily. Bye.